Hi, this is Dennis from Diffuse, and today I want to show you how to search for internal transactions on Ethereum with Diffuse APIs. We're going to use our high precision block explorer ETHQ to visualize the results. Let's get started. Let's go on ETHQ.app. So this block explorer uses Diffuse APIs to search for internal transactions, giving it these call stack views that are unique from other block explorers. You can also click this button on the bottom right to bring up the GraphQL query associated with the current results at any time. So you can easily export this and use it in your own projects. Now, you'll notice some of these transactions have a number in the calls column. This represents the number of internal transactions. Let's say you call someone's smart contract. This contract can then call a method on another smart contract. Ethereum data is inherently structured this way. One transaction can programmatically create many other transactions. However, these internal transactions are not easily accessible on the native Ethereum APIs. Let's see a concrete example. This is the DAI stablecoin smart contract. When a user wants to create new DAI, they need to interact with the system of smart contracts. A few steps into the process, one contract will call the mint method on the DAI token contract. This method will then generate some new DAI to a user. Now, if you want to find all of the minting method calls, you can go to the contract page here and go to the events, and you can filter by the event logs. But this is cumbersome as these events need to be coded into the smart contracts. So if we go to the contract code here and look up mint, you'll see in the mint method here, we have an event emission called transfer, and this is the info you'll be accessing. So you're limited to the data that is returned by this event, and in this case, it is the generic transfer event. It does not tell you the method that was invoked. In fact, you have to follow the transaction call stack, decode a bunch of inputs until you can filter out the data that you need. And if you are interested in a method that is not emit an event, you're out of luck. You cannot access this internal transaction natively. Now, there are internal transaction APIs such as Etherscan here. In fact, we can see all of the internal transactions here. But the problem with this is it does not have any filtering functionality. All you have is the block range as a filter, and you have to manually go into the inputs of these transactions and filter by the hash of the method name, in our case, mint. This puts extra traffic on your dApp and introduces redundant code that is only specific to each use case. Now, with Diffuse, you can directly search for internal transactions on a contract with method names or other fields that you are interested in. For example, on ETHQ.app, we can search for all the transactions that call this method mint with this signature to the contract, and this is the DAI token contract. And here we get the list of all transactions that have one of its internal transactions calling the mint method. So if you click open the transaction call stacks, you'll see somewhere in each of these stacks, there's a mint call. And let's bring up the GraphQL query to see what's really going on. So as you can see, here are all of these data available to you that are concerning call stacks containing the mint method call. Since this is a GraphQL endpoint, we can actually slim down this query to only get the matching call that we're interested in, which is the mint method. So here I've crafted another query with the same parameters, which is calling to the die token contract and the mint method with this signature. And here you see we can get only the matching calls and the data that we're interested in. And after we run this, we get only the mint internal transactions matching our search. So here, with one request, we can find all of the mint method calls on the DAI token contract and return as many results as we want. We can also filter by low or high block ranges. We can give it a limit, and we can even filter it further with storage or balance changes or ether value or other fields that you're interested in. Diffuse indexes transaction fields such as address to and from, ether value, balance change, storage change, etc. And since we index contract calls directly, even if there's no event being emitted in the smart contract, you can still search for these data. 
You also avoid extra code and traffic. If you know the smart contract really well and know the method name or how the balance or storage states should change, you can put those directly into your search query and get the exact results that you want. I invite you all to test out our block explorer at eq.app and see what kind of unique search queries you can come up with to better suit your DAP development needs. And also you can go on diffuse.io to try out our APIs for free. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.